In today's video, we are going to talk about Endeavor OS versus Manjaro, which is better Arch Distro. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. You must have tried using the Arch Linux and as we know, it's almost impossible to install it without proper Linux knowledge and documentation. But as Arch is based on the expert end of Linux distro spectrum, there are several Arch based Linux distributions that have made things easier for beginners and newcomers to the Linux platform. Manjaro and Endeavor OS are two of the most popular choices for an Arch based Arch alternatives. So I'll discuss Endeavor OS, then I'll move towards the Manjaro. So let's take a look at the difference between these two. First of all, I'll start with Endeavor OS. Well, when you are done installing your Endeavor OS, this is the welcome screen that you will get. To make things easier for newcomers and beginners, Endeavor OS has included this compelling welcome screen and from here you can update the mirror to download and install different packages, softwares and many other things. Then you can update your system right from here. You can download and choose different background wallpaper for your system right from here. Not only that, you can also change your display manager, display resolution and a lot of other things as you have a lot of stuff here. If you go into your assistant, then you have your tips then you have your add more apps. So that means you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of freedom in terms of doing everything from the interface and you do not have to use terminal in most of the cases. And that makes Endeavor OS a really likable for those users who are new to Linux distribution and do not know how to use terminal. Now I'll talk about the desktop environments. Well, Endeavor OS offers a lot more desktop environments officially. But we get only one ISO file with a desktop environment by default and it allows you to choose another desktop environment while the installation process. As we have two types of installation process, one is online and the other one is offline. With the online option, you get all those desktop environment that you can choose. That is a good thing in this distro as we do not need to look for a particular ISO file with the choice of another desktop environment. But the drawback is we need to have an internet connection to choose another desktop environment with the online option of installation. By default, we get the XFCE desktop environment in Endeavor OS. Now if I talk about the software packaging, as we know that Endeavor OS and Manjaro are based on Arch Linux, they both use the same package manager known as Pacman. One of the many features of Pac-Man is that it handles almost all the dependencies for us. In terms of Endeavor OS, it does not have its software repositories. It depends on central Arch Linux repository and because of that, we get the most vanilla experience if we use this Linux distro. Endeavor OS prioritizes to be closest to Arch Linux in terms of its philosophy as it allows you to have custom installation, you can install only the necessary packages for a complete desktop experience. The good thing about this Linux distribution is it has the most bleeding edge packages in the distribution repositories. In terms of the update structure for Endeavor OS, as it tries to be close to the Arch Linux, that is why you will get the updates as frequently as they get released because Arch Linux has the rolling release cycle. But there is a slight difference when it comes to Manjaro and I'll talk about it in detail when we'll move towards the Manjaro. Now I'll talk about the resource usages in terms of Endeavor OS and for that I'll open my terminal and in that I will write here top which is a utility for resources. Here if you see Endeavor OS is using almost 530 megabyte of RAM at this moment. And here we have all the detail of each process user of those process and then here we have percentage of resources that are being used by each process and in terms of my swappiness value nothing is getting used at this moment 
and that shows that Endeavor OS is not as heavy as other Linux distribution in terms of the hardware resources needed. So if you have a laptop that is not as advanced, you can still enjoy using Endeavor OS if you are into Arch Linux distributions. Now at the end, I'll talk about the resources that are needed to install this Linux distribution. Well, the perfect choice for lower specs hardware requires a minimum of 2 GB of RAM, but for a smoother experience, it is recommended to have 4 GB of RAM. And in terms of hard disk drive, you should have at least 15 to 20 GB of hard drive free space. And that was all about the Endeavor OS. Now let's move towards the Manjaro and let's see what does it has to offer us. This is the default look of Manjaro. And just like the Endeavor OS, we also get a welcome screen. But this screen is called as Manjaro Hello. There are a lot of difference between these two. As in Endeavor OS, we had the option to do a lot of stuff. But here we have limited options like in terms of documentation, we can read its documentation, release info about Manjaro and the information about Manjaro on Wikipedia. Then we have support like we have the forums from where we can find the solution of different problems related to Manjaro. Then we have discover software. Again, it will open a web page from where we can get the information. Then we have mailing list. And here we have the project related to Manjaro that is being going on. At the end, we have the application button. If I just click on it, it will give us the information that what are the applications that are available for Manjaro and that we can use in our Manjaro Linux distribution. From here, you can do different kind of stuff like we have browsers, email, office suits and many other categories that we can go through. Let's go into the audio category and here we have all those applications in terms of audio that we can use in our Manjaro. And that was all about the brief introduction about Manjaro Hello. In terms of desktop environment, Manjaro Linux distributions offers different desktop environment just like the Endeavor OS. But the main difference is how these distributions offer these desktop environment. We have different ISO files for each desktop environment in Manjaro. Unlike the Endeavor OS where we download only a single file and during the installation process, we can select the desired desktop environment. Basically, it is a good thing as we do not need to have the internet connection during the installation process to choose a particular desktop environment. Now let's talk about the software packaging. Well, Manjaro uses its own Manjaro repository for packages, but Manjaro always lags behind Arch as the operating system developers test the packages first to ensure that there are no bugs in it. This helps in keeping the overall experience stable. I will explain this in further detail when I'll talk about the update structure of Manjaro. Well, some of the areas where Manjaro has a significant advantage are the number of useful pre-installed apps and tools and the powerful package management. If I click on my application launcher button, here I have all those application that comes as pre-installed into Manjaro. Here we have all those categories. For example, in terms of game, we have Steam engine available that comes pre-installed. Then we have some of the application in terms of graphics, internet, then we have multimedia. And as you see, we have six application in terms of multimedia. That is a very rare with Linux distribution that we get these much applications in one category. Then in terms of office for your documents, we have only office available. You can also download and install some other office source like LibreOffice from terminal or from its software center as well. Then you have system settings and at the end you have all the tools related to your system like top and edge top. I'll talk about these two after some time. If I right click on my desktop, here I have my desktop setting if I just click on it. From here, you can have your different desktop backgrounds. You can change your menus and its icons. Then you have a lot of other stuff that you can perform. So that's a really cool thing in terms of the usability and interface of Manjaro. And now if I talk about the package management, well, Manjaro has the best package management for flat packs, snap and arch user repositories called PacMac. PacMac is a GUI package installer and it is available not only on Manjaro, 
but it is also available on Endeavor OS, but it needs to be installed separately there. Apart from that, Manjaro also offers you a GUI kernel manager to install and switch between different kernel managers without any hassle. Endeavor also comes with a kernel manager, but we can only choose from different kernels, but not their versions. Not only that, in Manjaro, it allows you a category-wise selection of apps that you can install right after the installation. As you see here, this is the software center of Manjaro and here we have category section. If I just click on it, here I have different categories that I can go through. For example, I want to download a software related to music and audio or let's download a game. I'll just click on games and here I have all those games that I can download for Manjaro and I can start playing them. So how cool and how feasible it is that we do not need to worry about and look for any particular application in the whole software center. We can go to its category and after that we can download it straight away if it is available in the collection. But on the other hand in Endeavor OS we can only get to install the Chromium browser, LibreOffice and we can browse Arch user repository packages. Overall, when it comes to stability of packages, Manjaro is the best. Now I'll talk about the update structure of Manjaro. While in Manjaro, we also get the rolling release of an update just like the Endeavor OS, but there is one significant difference. Manjaro has two branches. If you are using the unstable branch, you will get the update straight away. Or if you are using the testing branch or I would say the stable one, the update will get tested first and then will be available to you. And that is why the system developer tests the packages first to make sure that there are no bugs in Arch. And this is the same thing that I was talking about earlier in software packaging. And because of that, you might have to wait an extra week to get the update. But the good thing is the update will be the tested one. Now I'll talk about the resource usages of this Linux distribution. For that, I'll open my terminal. So I'll just look for my terminal in here. Here it is. And in that, I will just write here top. Or you can also look for top in your application launcher menu. So here we have all the information about processes, user of those processes and the resources that are being used by each process at this moment. Here. My Manjaro is using almost 780 megabytes of RAM at this time. And this is more than those resources that we had seen in Endeavor OS. So that shows that Manjaro is a bit heavier in terms of resource usages as compared to Endeavor OS. Now let's talk about the resources that are needed to install this Linux distribution. Well, you should have 1 gigabytes of memory and 30 gigabytes of hard disk space to install this one. 2 GB of RAM is recommended for better experience. Now at the end, if I were to conclude my video, I would say we do not have a clear answer to this as both distributions are excellent. So it all depends on what you prefer. If you are a newbie or mediocre who wishes to try Arch and have simple themes, then Manjaro is a good distro option. And if you wish to have something close to Arch, Endeavor OS is quite a suitable replacement. Manjaro has been in the market for over a decade, whereas the other one is a bit new. That is why I would say that is not a fair comparison. Not only that, Manjaro has a very stable and a very mature community. Means if you ever get into a problem, you will have a lot of people and a lot of help at your disposal. That is not the case with Endeavor as it's a bit new. So we do not have as much mature and as much big community. So it all depends on you, what you like and how do you want to go with Arch based Linux distribution. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.